um, uh, apo- okay, so I said it correctly. Apocalypsis. Apocalypsis. I should be able to say that really quick. I mean, not have to figure it out. ATI video cards or NVIDIA video cards? Which you prefer? Um, currently, I prefer ATI. Um, but right now, I have an NVIDIA card because when I bought my computer, I preferred NVIDIA. Um, which do you believe, as a whole, provide the best bang for a person's buck? Um, generally, um, ATI has the best bang for the buck. Um, now, there are... F- there's basically two different cards that you'll always be looking at when you deal with both ATI and NVIDIA. Their flagship card, which is the one that they're trying to sell out the most, and they're usually between four and seven hundred dollars. Um, and if you're trying to get the best of the best, then you want to go for the flagship card. Right now, ATI has the flagship card. Um, and then um, it's, I forget what it was. I totally forget the card. But um, although it might have changed because things change very for, uh, rapidly. And then, um, uh, then the, uh, other than that is kind of the 80% mark super good deal card. And those are one of the more common ones that are sold. It's sort of where the company makes most of its sales. Is that the 80% of the most powerful card, and it's like half as much. And um, basically, that one's kind of always up for grabs. It's about half the time it's in uh, NVIDIA's hands and half the time in ATI's hands. Um, right now, I believe that also not only does ATI have the flagship, but I also think ATI has the uh, the better 80% mark card um, currently. But when I bought my computer, NVIDIA had the 80% card. Now, if you look at benchmarks between NVIDIA and ATI, generally uh, there are a large bulk of NVIDIA's cards near the top of the performance charts, and there are a bulk of ATI's cards near the bottom of the performance charts. But each has cards interspersed, not as much, through the other half. So it may seem like ATI has poor performance compared to NVIDIA, but really you kind of have to look at it on an individual basis. You can't just look at all of NVIDIA and all of ATI and compare. Um, I s- tend to see that ATI has the 80, the best 80% mark card most of the time. Um, I'd say 70% of the time ATI has that 80% card. Um, uh, uh, Apocalypsis says, if I could remove one thing from his existence for the betterment of mankind as a whole, what would it be? Um, I thought about this question for a bit because it kind of got me curious thinking about it. And um, I'd say number one would be sadism. Sadism is the act of, usually it's physical, but it can also be emotional, um, the act of trying to cause harm to someone. But more than just harm, Damage, something that will permanently scar them, but either physically or emotionally, etc. And um, there are a number of people that seek out being sadistic. Um, now, let me think, let me think. I, I'm going to give you a story of a f- distant friend of a friend. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty distant person for me, but I've heard this story about an example of sadism. Um, it isn't too graphic. It's not too graphic, um, but it is chilling. And so if you don't really want to know about it, I would skip this part. I'll maybe put in an annotation or something like that. But um, anywho. In San Francisco, there was a celebration or a fair or a festival or something like that. And, you know, the traffic was horrible. And um, there were a daughter that was somewhere like 19 and her mother in a normal car. And they were going through an alleyway, which there's a number of alleyways that cars can fit through in San Francisco, to try and get from one road to another road. And they kind of got 
stuck in behind a car and in front of a car in the alleyway waiting for traffic to get out of their way. Um, and this was at a T intersection in the alleyway. And coming down the T was a um, an SUV, a, a SUV style truck type of thing. It might have been a large truck with a camper shell or something like that. I'm not sure exactly how that was. But anyhow, they drove up and they were kind of waiting and they noticed the car in front of them that was the the mother and the daughter. And so they, it was two 20-something year, no, year old men and they decided that they would uh, back up their truck uh, number of car lengths and then just punch their uh, accelerator and slam as hard as they could into the car that was unable to get out of the way because they were in the alleyway. Um, the first time they impacted, both the, the, the daughter and the mother were dazed and uh, injured, and then the SUV drove back and went back a number of car lengths again and hit their accelerator again and smashed into the car a second time. Um, after they smashed into the car a second time, they drove off, uh, never were caught, um, the daughter uh, sustained many, many injuries, and the mother had died. And um, there is no reasonable reason for that to occur. Uh, the mother and the daughter had absolutely no control over the situation. It's not their fault. It's not their fault that they were in that position. Um, things happen out of your control, and uh, that's true for a lot of things. There's a lot of people that have a lot of trouble being able to accept that certain things just happen out of their control. And sadism is one of those things that truly, truly, this world would be a better place without, because we have the opportunity to make this world a utopian place. We've got so many resources that war and famine and pollution and all of these things could be easily fixed if we put our minds to it. We have plenty of resources to do it. We have plenty of resources to make it just a wonderful and happy world. But there are certain, I, I don't know if you want to call them evils, but evils in the world, such as sadism, that really pulls things down. And um, sadism, if we could get rid of that, it would be really, really nice. <laughs>